Thank you, Barney. Just let me know if you hear from him, okay? No, gosh, no. I don't need to track him down. He has been through enough. I don't want him to worry about me, too. Um, is Stone Cold on the premises? No, Jason left a while ago. And you prepping for a search, this does not bode well. What do you have there? Oh, um, just a mere trifle that hit the book stands today. The Secret Life of Damien Smithley came out today. That's great news. Yeah, Congratulations. It, in, in light of the tragic death of young Jake, the would-be adventures of a lonely computer geek with poor social skills seems a bit absurd, doesn't it? Oh, stop it. You should be out celebrating. Well, with you out searching for Stone Cold, not a chance. But wh why are... Why the urgency? I mean, we all know that Stone Cold likes to grieve alone. Yeah. Um, something else has happened. And I am afraid Jason has made a mistake. Brandon Lowell's body was found in the parking lot of Vaughn's with two bullets in his head. Now, given it's the strip club where you used to work, I have to ask you, Michael, did you do it? Ex-boyfriend made bail. He beat her up again. Cuts of soon. Uh, yeah, I know. And, uh, and Michael went after him, and he had a gun, Spinelli, one of Jason's. Why? He didn't use it, I pray. No. Thank God. Jason dragged him back here, and they got into a really big argument, and then Michael left, and then Jason said that Brandon wasn't going to be a problem anymore, and then he left, and then he came back, and the way he was talking, Spinelli, um, I am afraid that Jason has killed Brandon. I hate to ask you this question, but before this murder investigation gains any momentum, I need to know what really happened. Michael's been with me since last night. He couldn't have done it. Is it true? <sighs> I was at Jake's memorial. Dante, you know. I obviously meant except for the memorial. So after the memorial, you came straight back here? I went to Jason's to make sure he was okay. And that's when Brandon beat you up? When Michael was gone? Look, I know you dropped the charges. It's my case. They notified me of any changes. Okay, then why don't you have somebody here guarding Abby? Well, because she dropped the charges. There's not much I can do to help her at that point. There's no restraining order anymore, and you didn't file, follow through on any prior incidents. So you're blaming her? The system let an animal like Brandon back on the streets, and you're blaming her. It's okay, Michael. Okay, do you want to know what I think? I think you went to Jason's, then you came here. You saw what Brandon did to her. You lost it, and you went after him on your own. I mean, the parking lot of Vons, there's a, a pretty high traffic area, especially at night. A lot of people would have seen something. Two gunshots. People would have heard something, unless you got a silencer now. <sighs> Michael, I'm not here as a cop. I'm here as your brother. I want to help you. Did you kill Brandon? The, the, the fear that young Mr. Sir and his youthful ardor may have murdered Abby's brutal former boyfriend or that Stone Cold committed the act and might get caught because of the very grief and concern that drove him to such desperate measures in the first place. Are those the security cameras? Uh, yes. Um, here's Stone Cold on his bike leaving the parking garage heading east. I'm checking further. Okay, well you keep checking and I will go look for Jason. Uh, Stone Cold is heading to the outskirts of town where there are few if any security cameras. Wherever he is, I'll find them. Well, no, you must not go out on your own. No, we can't make a big deal about this. I don't want to create any suspicion. Well, then the jackal would be discreet. Which um, sidearm would you recommend for a dangerous task like this? Sam? Hi. See what happens when you shut your phone off? You almost missed a major event in your life, but you can thank me later because I pulled some strings to make sure it happens. Uh, well, wait. What's about to happen? I got Spinelli and Diane a book signing at Froman's to celebrate the release of Secret Life, ah. but we have to go now because it starts in a half an hour. Wait, I'm sorry, tonight? Yeah, don't panic. I figured you wouldn't have anything to wear, so I brought you an outfit. It's very boho chic, smart but edgy, perfect for an up-and-coming author. Um, I'm very grateful, but I can't go. Spinelli, you worked really hard on this book. There's going to be lots of people there waiting to get your autograph. What could be more important than that? You're so Keep quiet. You don't trust the system. I let, it let you down, so did I. But this is going to be different than the Claudia situation, okay? I will protect you, but I need to know what is really going on. If you're so concerned about protecting your brother, why are you the first one to suspect him? Abby, it's okay. No, Brandon had a lot of enemies. They probably just were waiting for him to make bail so someone could kill him. He always was in debt to loan sharks. Anyone in particular? I don't know. I hadn't seen him in more than a year, but I used to find drugs on him all the time. Maybe he ripped off a dealer. Maybe he just got into a fight. He had a lousy temper. Is that why he beat the crap out of you any chance you got? Quit hassling at You see, and that is going to be the reason you are going to be a suspect, because you will protect her no matter what. It's not good for you, Michael, okay? Let me do this for you. Let me help you while I still can, okay? Brandon's dead. 
The guy who shot him is a hero. That's all I can tell you. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, you let me know if you change your mind. And you should get your alibi straight. You're making him look pretty guilty. The prospect of signing books and receiving the adulation of countless fans doesn't... It won't be countless. They're shooting for like 50, maybe 75. Oh. Well, in any case, I'm un unavailable this evening. Hey, 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 hey. I think you should do it. But Stone Cold is unaccounted for. I have to help for Samantha in her search. Jason always vanishes. Besides, he's going through a lot right now. Don't you think you should give him some space? Yeah, but Fair Samantha is, is concerned... No, 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 no. She doesn't need the details. Thank you. And I don't think you should be involved with this because it sounds dangerous. Yes, it is. She has a good point. Look, I, 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 I can't carelessly sign the night away when Stone Cold I, I, is unaccounted for. I, literary ambitions have to wait. Well, Diane's going to be there. I mean, can't you just see her taking all the credit? You she... did the work, Spinelli. You can't let Diane sign all the autographs. Agreed. And Jason wouldn't want you to miss out on your first autograph signing. I am his loyal wingman. I owe... Come on, Spinelli. Jason will want you to go and enjoy the night. Enjoy this experience. Sign autographs. Take pictures. Do it. Jason would actually probably appreciate it. It would help him and me tonight more than anything else you could do. Okay. Okay. I'll go. Great. But with a heavy heart. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks, Maxie. I hope you like the outfit I brought you. How are you feeling? Fine. Did your, did your face hurt? A little. Look, did Brandon hurt you anywhere else? He just shoved me around. I'm such an idiot. I did everything wrong. Hey, 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 do not make this your fault. Look, Brandon was an animal. Okay, and he got what he deserves. I, I just, I thought I was over this. I really did. I left Brandon. You know, I woke up one morning covered in bruises. Way worse than these. He was still a sleeper or passed out. I didn't know. I didn't care. I just realized that I had to save my own life, so I threw a few things in a bag. I grabbed whatever cash I could find, and I walked to the bus station. I bought a ticket to Port Charles because I couldn't afford a fare to Canada. And I sat there and I stared out the window and I promised myself I was going to have a better life. Get an education, get a decent job. But most of all, I promised that I was never going to let anyone treat me the way Brandon did again. Yeah, you know what, Abby, that took a lot of courage. Then Brandon showed up. I fell back right into my old patterns denying how d dangerous he was, telling myself that he would just give up and go away. <sighs> that night that he tried to rape me, there was a moment where I actually believed that I could talk him down. I did it again tonight, you know, he, he tried to kiss me and when, when I shoved him off of me, I, you know, he just lost it. Everything happened exactly the way you said it would. Dropping the charges against Brandon gave him permission to come back for me. Okay. Abby. You know, Abby, you know how you always ask me how therapy was? And I say something positive and I, and I change the subject. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what I talk about in therapy therapist all the time is I I have to stop blaming myself for being stupid and, and, and weak and not fighting back hard enough look Michael what Carter did to you isn't your fault no, 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 I'm, I'm starting to believe that look Abby you need to believe that too okay look Brandon was sick and evil and he hurt you he tore you down, but you were strong enough to break free. And you are not to blame for what he did to you. And, and you are definitely not to blame for his death. I don't care that he's dead. I can't. 
hear that you're gonna be the one to blame for it. Does anyone else know that you have a gun? Just Jason and Sam. No one else? Not that I'm aware of. You need to get rid of it. Especially now. Look, Dante's not gonna try and pin Brandon's murder on me. He's trying to help me. Look, Dante has a conflict of interest. As soon as you're named a suspect, he's going to be taken off the case. Carrying a gun is a parole violation, Michael. Any other cop will pull you in for that. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Let me. Okay, I don't want you to even risk taking it out of here. Look, I got the gun. I decided to carry it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to let you incriminate yourself. You're in this mess because of me. You would have never even been involved with Brandon if it weren't for me, Michael. Look, if Brandon didn't abuse you, you wouldn't have gotten on that bus to board, Charles. You wouldn't have worked at Vons, you wouldn't have met Sam, you wouldn't have met me. Maybe you just, you had to go through all that garbage to be the person that you are. And the person that saved me. Look, I, I was completely alone before I met you. Look, it didn't matter how many people loved me or how badly they wanted to help, I couldn't tell them what happened to me. I couldn't tell them how I felt because I knew that they wouldn't understand. Not like you. It is easy to care for you, Michael. It is the most natural thing in the world for me. You know, I, I think something really bad would have happened to me if I didn't know you. I mean, your your, your ex-boyfriend's dead in a parking lot. That's obviously really bad, but I, I, I can deal with it. Whatever happens, I can deal with it. Because I am stronger inside because of you. Abby, I love you. Look, I don't want you saying things that I you know feel up. that you hate when I say it, but it's true. Okay, first, I don't hate when you say that you love me. It's just that I want to remind you that you're 19 and things can change. Well, not the way that I feel about you. Look, we can have this conversation another time. I mean, right now, we have to face the facts. Brandon is dead. You're a suspect. You need an alibi. I can say I was here with you. Michael, I wasn't here. I was out looking for you. <laughs>